everyone. Um, ah, so grateful to be here. So excited to have another video coming up. And um, again, great, grateful for all of your support. Um, I'm having a lot of views and I really appreciate that. I encourage everybody to keep going. Um, I'm trying to keep these uh, within uh, five to, to 20 minutes tops so that you just have a little bit. If you do it every day, fabulous. Um, just trying to stick with it for at least two to three days a week, starting out for those first three weeks. Um, make that your goal. And then as soon as you hit those three weeks, let's incorporate another day. Okay, four days a week. And what you'll find is that improvement in your own everyday movement, the improvement in your energy, the improvement in your flexibility, um, just in the way that your body feels. Um, your youth, a lot of your youth is dependent upon that flexion in your spine. Um, so what we're trying to do is bring that flexion into our spine, into our body, uh, and in, and do course that ever opens everything up to just be able to move a whole lot better. You'll progress, you'll be able to start doing more um, intermediate things um, as far as yoga or uh, workouts or activities. Um, you'll be surprised at how your body progresses without you even trying. So today we're going to start standing on the mat. We're going to connect toes and heels. If it's more comfortable to have a fist or two in between those feet, please do so. You can have a slight bend in those knees or if the straight legs feels pretty good, connect there. But what I want you to do is find all four corners of the feet into the ground really grounding right here, feeling all four corners so we don't have any of the weight leaning forward or leaning back. We're finding where we can put all four points right there in the ground. In Tadasana, opening the heart right here. <sighs> opening the chest. Really pulling the quads up above the kneecaps. Engaging the legs. We've got muscle to bone through the inner thigh, through the glutes, everything's and up right there. Opening the palms, pulling that belly button into the lower back. Take a deep breath in here. <sighs> Feeling that lower, that belly button into the lower back even a little bit more. One deep breath in from the belly, opening into the chest. Oh, feel that move up into the chest and exhale. With the arms, we're going to inhale up and over, connecting palms, finding that little bit of a bend in the back. Stay right here and I will show you finding that little bit of a bend in the back right here. We're not letting the head fall back. We're keeping it slightly gazed up and our tongue up off the roof of our mouth. Okay, so from here, we're going to breathe in and cactus arms out. Beautiful. Another deep breath in. Connect the palms, cactus arms. Beautiful. Up and in. Keeping the prayer hands right here. We're going to go side stretch right here. So we keep all four corners of the feet connected to the floor. Ah, popping out that hip. So we want these hips on the side of that body really to be popping. We're connecting both feet into the floor. We're starting here. I just want you to just move with this for a second. Just move, pulling the belly button into the lower back, gentle neck right here, breathing up and in and forward fold down beautiful staying there so we're in our forward fold and we've got a nice little bend in those knees okay a nice little bend in those knees you can have your peace fingers wrapped around your big toes if you're just hanging here that's just fine if we're on our shins awesome and i want to see that slight bend so again we're trying to connect the torso to the quad so letting the head fall, shake our head no, nod the head yes, making sure that is loose. Breathing in, pulling up with the fingertips, opening the chest, exhale down. Inhale, and exhale. 
exhale. Two more here, inhale. Opening the chest right here, shoulders are down, exhale. Beautiful. We're gonna put the palms down and we're gonna walk both legs back. Now, we can be in a plank or we are in a modified plank, okay? Encouraged right here. Please do not feel obligated to push yourself into something that is not gonna feel comfortable, okay? So I want you in that modified plank right here. We're pushing up and out of the palms and the fingertips. We've got strong arms, shoulders are down, and we're just gonna allow our body to come down nice and slow. This is called chaturanga, nice and slow, right here. Connecting whole body to the mat. Our hands are on the side of the chest, allowing the head to come down. Okay, so when we inhale, we're gonna push up through the palms. We're gonna push those palms into the, the ground. Shoulders are down right here, half cobra. We're breathing in, exhale. Breathing in. And exhale. Feeling that spine ignite. Keeping the toes into the mat and push up into the palms and the fingertips. Breathing in, pushing up, exhale. Beautiful, connecting the big toes, opening the knees back into child's pose right here. Beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Finding that length in the arms, taking a deep breath in here. And exhale as you walk the hands a little bit further. Pushing back into the glutes. Go ahead and come up on all fours. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find ourselves in a high lunge today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the right leg, we're gonna put it between our hands just like this. So what we have now is what we've done before. So we're here in low lunge, we've got the leg, the left leg onto the mat, that left leg down, we're doing a nice hip flexor stretch here. Now, this is gonna be a little bit of a strength uh, test for you. I want you to curl those toes under on that left side, and I want you to come up into high lunge. Hands on hips here. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Deep breath in, exhale. Come back down, flatten out that back leg. Put those hands right in the center. And again, let's walk that foot out just like we did the other day. And let's open that hip. Okay. What I want to do is hopefully incorporate a little bit of something different mixed with things we're already doing so that you can start to feel more comfortable. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, let's come back to all fours. Okay, we're on those all fours. We're going to go ahead and bring that left leg forward. That right leg is flattened back on the mat, flat foot. Um, pushing into that right hip flexor right here, engaging the glute, pulling that belly button to the lower back. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and curl those toes under on the back. We're gonna come up to a high lunge, feeling the legs engage. Hands on the hips, deep breath in. Another deep breath in. I breathe my balance. Let's bring our hands right here on the inside of the leg, flattening out that back leg. Let's open that so we walk that left leg. Open those hips. Really just kind of rolling and rocking through those hips. Feels so good. Awesome. And let's bring that left leg back into all fours. Okay. What I want to do is curl those toes under. And again, like we've done before, let's walk back and see where it starts to scream. We want to feel uncomfortable, but not super painful. Okay, so see where you're being able to sit today with that. Let's go ahead and window those arms to the lower back right here, opening up the chest. Breath in, 
exhale, bringing it back down. We're gonna breathe through three cat cows right here. Breathing in, opening the chest, putting the tailbone to the sky, exhale. Inhale, opening the chest and exhale. Really checking that tailbone under last time. Inhale. Opening and exhale. Awesome. Let's go ahead and sit back on our glutes. We're gonna come into ease pose and I have a helper with me today. She's gonna help us through the last couple of stretches that we're gonna do today. Say hi, Addie. Everybody, this is Addie, and she really wanted to help out today. So I promised her when we got into ease pose that she applesauce. could help. Applesauce, huh? Crisscross applesauce. So let's find that nice, long, neutral spine, that line of integrity. Ah, bringing the belly button into the lower back. And opening the chest to the sky. Nice long spine. Now remember we have that line of integrity. So our mind is open. We're receiving, allowing things to come through into the chest, down through the spine and grounding into the sit bones to the ground. All right, so so we ready? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the right hand and we're gonna put it on the diagonal back. So we're gonna push the palm and the fingertips into that diagonal back up and out of the shoulder. We're gonna take the left palm and we're gonna just press it into the right knee, finding a little twist right here. Taking a deep breath in, exhale. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, let's look back behind that back shoulder. the stretch in the neck. Deep breath in here and center. How does that feel, sis? Okay, opposite side. So let's take that left hand. We're going to push it into the diagonal back. Right hand to the left knee. Finding a little bit of a twist. There you go. Nice long spine. Notice that spine is still long and neutral. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in and exhale, looking over that back shoulder. Beautiful, we're gonna come back center. Taking a deep breath in here with our palms up or our palms down. Now remember, palms up is receiving, palms down is grounding. Taking a deep breath in here. Exhale. so much for joining us today just a short little bit so that we can review some of those uh, hip openers uh, again the back the the cat cow is always going to be uh, something that's incorporated incorporated um, and remembering our breath um, lots of light and love to all of you from us grateful for your supporting our family and uh, please let anyone who you may know that's uh, struggling with chronic pain and just needing to ease into things really step by step, that's what I'm here for. Um, light and loving me, honor the light and loving you. Namaste.